um, hello. Uh, so while we were away, or while you guys were away, oh, Jesus, I'm sneezing fit now. Uh, while you, while I was off uh, off screen, I got thirty five orbs. Uh, got the well. We had twenty five. I got like, oh, we must have had more than twenty five. Because I only got a few more. I got a few more. Uh, the reason I got a few more is because. Uh, we need forty to open the the ripto door, but as we saw from the weird. Allura trap that is the getting the right enough to open the right number of whatever to open the whatever final boss encounter of each world she just traps you in your like in her like stand and you have to take the boss and she's like no it's up to you and then she king crimsons you back every time you try to escape her, her clutches so it's just yeah I could see that becoming a fatal game error if it happened again for Ripto, it would be really shitty for the LP, because, um, you know, I'd be like, I could get 40 orbs off screen, and then it stick us to this and us not see, basically, the rest of Winter Tundra. We've only done one, one um, level so far, so that would be really fucking shitty. Anyway. Didn't do any new levels, just did a bunch of mini games that I found stressful and annoying, like the turtle soup thing. Oh, there's Metropolis. Uh, I can't remember Metropolis, so it's very attractive. I remember Robotica Farms and I hated it because it's got huge supercharged thingy where you've got to help him get his tractor around or some weird bullshit. And then there's Cloud Temple which I'm also having trouble remembering. So we're going to do the ones that I find mysterious and exciting first. Because mystery, knowledge, the forbidden knowledge. And we'll just go from there today. I've been packing because I'm moving house, uh, which is hopefully moving to a house where I'll have better internet so that the upload rate for these can go up better. Uh, oh, I kind of remember these. I'm really confused as to who is evil in this, <laughs> other than that one's red with angry eyebrows. <laughs> but to be fair, he's freeing the local wildlife, you're turning into stone, so who's really the bad person here? I mean, it's all about perspective in these games. <laughs> Ow. To be fair, he attacked me though, so now it's his problem. Did you get it's like Chinese slash Asian themed? Look, red lanterns and wispy mustaches. And wood flutes. I know I'm being a bit of a dick. It's actually really nice. Look how nice it is. Shame is literally like. A level one, then just a fucking skybox. There's not even any like floating rocks like Autumn Plains' world or anything. Oh, projectile goats. We have projectile goats. Not very memorable for its theming. Yeah, that was tracking as fuck. I got stuck on the lip of the door. The fuck are you? Grinning go. The lack of books on the shelves indicate the government censorship. And no. 
regular book burnings they hold. Cloud Temple is a brutal place. I saw a table tabletop. I saw a uh, a whirly swirly whirly. You know, magic, magic twister upper. Bring me go up, up. There we go. <laughs> huh. All these parchments say that the Cloud Temple people invented everything first and they're raised from a special kind of monkey. Which makes them superior to all of the other people. Turns out these Cloud Temple people are kind of shit. <laughs> oh, thanks for freezing me into a hit state there. If I take a hit from this, I'm calling bullshit. I will not call bullshit yet. Those trackers hard as fuck now. <laughs> I killed that sheep for no reason. What kind of monster am I? The thing is about this design... I'll get back to it once I finish killing these guys. The thing about this design is uh, that they used also for the uh, Mystic Marsh people. Is it just reminds me of Muppets. You know? God, he looks stoned as fuck. I'm like, hello, dude, I'm over here. He's like, whoa. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. Dude, tell me it's fine for me to leave this room. You're not in a room, <laughs> wizard. Bitch, don't tell me what to do. Hey, I sort of remember big, big Hans over here. Agent Zoo. Oh yeah, I remember this. Nah, I'm alright, mate. Why is it every kid show feels the need to have some sort of pseudo Schwarzenegger copy? And they're like, haha, it's funny because he's big and he has a weird accent. Isn't it funny? Please laugh. And you're like, come on, man. Like, every kid's thing had this. Some of them even had the actual Schwarzenegger. And you're just sat there like... Isn't this a little over the head of most children of the 90s? You know, because most children of the 90s probably weren't watching violent movies like this. It's like the whole thing where everyone was, like, trying to sell aliens, kiss, and, like, uh, Robocop action figures to kids who feasibly shouldn't be, like, dealing with any of those forms of media. Mergen. Did you know the only reason there's wizards left in Cloud Atlas is because they killed all of the farmers? They, they worshipped a different religion. The Cloud Temple people didn't like that. So they threatened to kill their holy leader in an opera. True story. I mean, it's all in the game manual. So if you just read the game manual, you really could just pick up on all this real complex lore just for this, this level as well. This level that makes a one-time appearance. Some, some people say, including the religious leader of opposing the Cloud Temple people, especially Bartle here. Freed. <laughs> Freed. 
Oh look, a cultural relic you haven't destroyed and blamed on the Japanese. <laughs> but you're very quick to give it to a random foreigner. Uh, some say the Cloud Temple people dump toxic waste in the uh, their enemies' uh, lands. Why? Because they're jealous of their peaceful ways. Ah, you tried to bully them and subjugate them, but they didn't like that. That's crazy. Maybe you should subjugate them harder. Have you tried overwhelming force on a peaceful nation? That seems to be your thing. <laughs> Just being such a dick. These are trolls. They look like Mike Wazowski. They look like the mean Mike Wazowski. Oh, good, I can get another one. Oh, good, I fucked it up. Don't you love it when you fuck things up? The Cloud Temple people sure do, because then they, they claim it wasn't a fuck up and it was part of an elaborate plan. Holy shit. Boing. Oh, well, how am I supposed to? Yeah, you're not going to be enough, buddy. Mr. Short Stack over here. Oh, there's two now. I just had to wait for him to, like, decide to show up. He didn't want me to do it too early. A bit low, but we. I can work with it. I can work with it. No! You can't stop me. Thanks for bringing me back. <laughs> I guess. I mean, just to tell me that, oh, I guess, whatever. I'm gonna stuck on the lip of all of these pagodas. Yes. Oh fuck you. It's fucking camera. I was doing a swimming level off screen earlier in sunny beach and it was just That's why you're giving them to me. Because you're expecting me to pay. How Cloud Temple of you. <laughs> I'm having fun, and that's what matters. <laughs> I burned your flag. Oh, the other one's Agent Zero, yeah. I mean, we got two orbs here, and we don't want to go too ahead of ourselves, right? Because if we get too ahead of ourselves, what happens? We get locked into the Allura box. Sounds dirty, now that I think about it. And, uh... We don't want to get locked in the Allura box, because I'm pretty sure soon after that we'd also get locked in jail. <laughs> what a surprise. Dehumanization of... Dehumanization of your neighbors. How Cloud Temple of you. Just 
starting to spread rumors that they fornicate with sheep. Mm. Maybe Spyro has more to say politically than we gave it credit for. I've already mentioned that it may be a love letter to, uh, it may be, or a damning condemnation of colonialism. But it also may have a lot of other things to say. But I'm going to leave that to the listener, because, yeah, I want to pretend I'm highbrow. And we all know that I'm probably not. Hey, what is highbrow in today's modern era of shitposting bullshit? Let's go to Metropolis. Boom, boom, boom. I forget how the riff goes. Someone help me. It's not my favorite track on Overkill. Metropolis. I'm just going to sing Capricorn. <laughs> I like Capricorn. On Stay Clean. <laughs> and in the end, you're on your own, and there ain't stop no one to stop you feel alone. Stay clean, stay clean. Wow, way to judge, robot. Some pigs can use a metro too. And now we have modern era Japan. <laughs> no, I'm joking. They wouldn't judge a pig with a rocket. Manager droid. I don't know how I feel about droids inventing droids. Robots make robots. Oh my god, this cow has a laser. I kind of remember this. For some reason, the farm and the metropolis is fighting each other. Has industrialization gone too far? Spyro is asking the deep questions today. Or it's not, and I'm just being an asshole. Oh shit, I forgot about my beer. Well, now life is over. Oh. Is police brutality getting out of hand? Are ray guns required to stop the rioting? Why are they mostly being used on the black cows? I'm just gonna keep going, <laughs> keep going, and date the fuck out of this video in the process. Those pigs just killed themselves. That's electric water. What's your favorite motorhead deep cut? I love stay clean, I love pay your price, I love ain't my crime. I love Go to Hell. I love Dancing on Your Grave. I mentioned that last time. Come here, Egg. You weren't even born, and yet I killed you. Yes! <laughs> so metal. Boy, I'm sure glad this ladder only goes halfway up the wall with these floating droids. Why would you think that? Use the bombs against the ox. Avoid the bombs that are about to explode. So this is like gulp again, but on ice, I guess. Eh? What are you? You're not one of them. I just gave my dragon drain damage. Uh, what other motorhead tracks do I really like? I mean, there's the obvious, but like, you know, 
I'm gonna say deep cuts. Let me some deep cuts. I was thinking of maiden deep cuts after the Ducati video I made a while ago, which I haven't done any more of because I was trying off screen to do time trials and realized I was literally too shit. So there's that. Um, yeah. Heaven can wait. Straight up there. Uh, stranger in a strange land. Uh, Children of the Damned, I absolutely fucking adore. Gangland, even. Although they even went back and said, dude, we wish we could have put several other tracks in if they were ready. A lot of <laughs> Bruce Dickinson said he doesn't even like Gangland. I still think it's better than Invaders, to be honest, because I just feel like any, any track I've always had trouble with is like any time that they put in... Uh, any time that they put in their song something about rape and it's just casually thrown in there, I always feel a bit like, that's fucking weird. <laughs> and I, I don't want to be like a... Oh. The wall of why would you go here is there. You can tell she's the girl bot because she's wearing a robot dress and has robot hair. Living creatures seem to like shiny things. I would not know for I am a shiny thing. Please do not ship me. The fuck? The fu oh, I kind of remember this, but I'm like, the fuck? Invading ship sheep. And like, yeah, my whole thing about not liking invaders is, oh, you know, if I get this one, are we going to be real fucked for like, gimme, 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 gimme. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I'll try and get this one. I'm here, sheepy. Dead sheep. Great, you murdered more organic life. Less for me to wipe out later. Oh. But if I do this one, I'll get trapped in the Allura zone. Nah. Nah, man. Nah, mate. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. That, that voice, I used to use that voice in college. We had a mate who was like real like, Yeah, man, I love fucking tuners. I love tuning cars. I just love me some cars. And he used to talk like that all the time. Or we used to say he did because he... Didn't have a very like deep masculine voice for a long time. His voice didn't drop very well, and it kind of sounded like that all the time. He's like, "Yeah, man, I really like cool cars. I'm gonna tune me something." I used to go on about. It. He didn't have like a Birmingham accent. So I don't know what happened there, but like, um, no, he used to just go on and, on and like he was like, "Oh yeah, the best car in the world's a Ford Fiesta. Gonna get me a Fiesta, am." I'm just like, dude, it's a Ford, Ford Fiesta, really? He's like, yeah, it's a fucking, oh, it's so good. And his dad was like, no, you can't get a Ford Fiesta. You can't get a Ford Fiesta, man. They're too expensive. you got to get a right banger first time, you know? Ford Fiesta, that's a classy car. And I'm like looking at him like, and then the, the, the guy gets a fucking Saxo that's mint. A Citroen Saxo, an 03 Saxo or an 05 Saxo. And he keeps it mint. Like, he replaces everything, he keeps it all neat, it's pristine. <laughs> and I'm sat there like, dude, this is better than your Fiesta dreams. What What the fuck? And he's just like, nah, it's not a Fiesta, man. He was really put out because his dad wouldn't let him have a Fiesta. But he had a Saxo that was basically, the, if you've seen a Citroen Saxo next to a Fiesta, it's roughly the same. 
like they got a different front end and back end, but they're like, lol, he got murdered. Uh, yeah, and he used to go absolutely like banana bread for uh, talking about these Ford Fiestas. A lot, a lot of my mates used to drive Fords because in the UK there are a lot of Fords, but not the same Fords as America. We don't get shit like Mustangs very often. So they had escorts, and uh, one of my mates had a like ninety ninety nine of escort, and then he had a Mondeo. I think it was an O two Mondeo or something, two thousand Mondeo. I can't remember. And uh, yeah, they used to, and he had a Fiesta too, and his Fiesta was shit, but he didn't care because he got it for like twenty quid, <laughs> like it was like a hundred quid, and it was wasn't worth shit. And he just ran it into the ground, then he got a uh, escort, and then he hit a fox at 50 miles an hour, and it smashed it to pieces, and he was like, oh, well, I'll just go get me a Mondeo then. And he just went and bought clapped out old Fords. And this other guy was like, oh, you're so lucky, man. And it's like, you've got a nice fucking... Shut up. <laughs> Says me and my fucking Lupo. I had one of them VW Lupos back in the day. They're sick. We replaced it with the Fox, which is a plasticky piece of crap in comparison. Lupo was nice. Mine was silver. And then, uh, and after a while, when we came back, when I came back from New Zealand, I was driving a Skoda Superb turbo diesel. That was pretty good fun. Oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. Robot farmers. Why would you program a farmer to... I mean, well, fine if you want to, but like, why? Green bean. Why is his leg shaking? I had too much moonshine. You're a robot. Shut up! <laughs> I can get drunk if I want. Fuck the government. Government came and took my baby. <laughs> Eat dicks. Yeah. He ate dicks. <laughs> I mean, good for him. Mm, my favorite fruit vegetable. Metal carrot. I will program my robot to have the most blatantly fake southern accent ever. Why? Cause fuck you. <laughs> That's why. Did you... <laughs> How come... <laughs> Did you also install racism.exe? <laughs> oh boy, I sure don't like them. <laughs> Don't ram my country, I don't think. Playing robotic Johnny Rebel songs. <laughs> uh, the world is a horrible place, and I'm ruining it by reminding you of it in a child's game. I'm sorry. Also, again, mean attack is rolling barrels of toxic waste, thus indicating you're a shit person. But, you know, when Coca-Cola does it, it's fine. Remember that time Coca-Cola was literally proven to have hired death squads to kill off union leaders in South America who said uh, who were trying to get better rights for their workers and stop them stealing all of the drinking water and then everyone was just like, oh, who gives a shit? I love me some Coca-Cola, so it doesn't really fucking matter that they're literally fucking war criminals. <laughs> like, the Coca-Cola have, like, a PMC. Uh, literally like diamond dogs, <laughs> but like shitty diamond dogs who probably are super up for nuclear proliferation. Look at this tryhard wasp! He's one of those Japanese killer hornets. Shoot acid. Yeah. What other deep cuts can we talk about? Yeah, I know. 
You want to walk through the valley once the lands have been cleansed. Don't know why I'm helping these people. It's like a case of I'm only helping you because the game is the telling me you're the quest giver. You know what I mean? It's like the only reason I'm helping you is to make the game progress. You're in no way any better or worse than the enemies I'm killing. It's just that the enemies I'm killing are actively attacking me and you're just speaking to me. So, you know, imagine you go through life like that. <laughs> I want my fan. My only fan. Let's think of some... Oh! <laughs> didn't think that would do that. I don't know why I didn't think that would do that, because, you know... I'm trying to think of some maiden deep cuts. I like No More Lies. Uh... Not really a deep cut because it was actually the lead single off of that album, but I actually really like the lyricism of um, Rainmaker. Just it's got some really great imagery used in the. And like I was saying about um, Invaders, it's the fact that it just ends at one point and it's like, Invaders raping! <laughs> and you're just like. What, am I supposed to be like, yeah, raping? <laughs> like, it just feels really like, it's the same vibe I get exactly off of uh, Black Label Society's Ain't Life Grand, which is on the Stronger Than Death album, where he's just like, killing, do -do 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 -do, raping, do -do. <laughs> you're just like, am I supposed to be like, yeah, raping? Because I'm not. <laughs> like, I'm really like, that's a serious thing. That cannot be trivialized, trivialized as easily as killing for some reason in my brain. Ah, uh, now raping, that's just me. <laughs> like, killing, butchering people and drinking from their skull. Fine. Chopping them in half. Fine. Now raping, that's just me. <laughs> like, also, don't call them racist names. <laughs> but you can horribly, brutally murder them. Metalhead logic. Hey. You gotta be nice, right? Oh! Man, yeah, wombo combo. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. We're all dead. Squashed in all. <laughs> Trampled underfoot? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of a barrel. Barrels are fun, though. These guys are the most... Spammy shit breads I've ever seen. Oh, you dick waffle! Back to uh, I like still life. That's some peace of mind. Revelations. I somehow managed to miss Revelations last time I spoke about maiden deep cuts, and Revelations is like got some sick lyricism as well. I just love that whole vibe he goes on for the whole, uh... No, no, don't kill me! No! I want to live! Stupid bug. Who are even inventing these things? Why are the farm animals just not here in the farm? How are these people making a living? No, because if I do, I'll get pulled out of this and forced to fight a boss. Have your bugs. I'm fighting some bugs. Give me some, like, credit. Oh, no! Can't find any fodder. What's a fodder look like in this world? Uh, I found a checkpoint, at least. Oh. That didn't track. To be fair, it was a whack shot, but you know. Yeah, I just love that whole thing. The clever path for the fools that know the secret of the hangman. The smile on his lips. <laughs> just, he goes in on revelations, and I love that. Uh... Die with your boots on's pretty good. 
Uh, oh, what was that like? Be quick. I think I mentioned that last time. Or be dead. <laughs> People give it shit. That album's actually got some good ones. It's got a lot of ones that aren't so smacking win <laughs> corking <laughs> but like um, there's some really good ones on that there's some really good ones uh, best maiden song best maiden song there's no best maiden song they're all good I even like lightning strikes twice so sue me maybe lightning strikes twice the problem with a lot of the Blaze Bailey songs that I've listened to and or liked is that it's really repetitive. Like, you know, he's not got the same level in a lot of cases, you know? But, like, When Two Worlds Collide's pretty good. Oh, you, just, you can just fuck right off. Try hard B. Yeah! Get ricked. That's the key we say. Get ricked. Get ricked, me. I don't know what that was. Look at these pumpkins. That's the mini game I was on about. You die. You know, I promised to kill you last. I lied. Ugh. Something moved. Why? Oh. Yes. I'm glad I saw where that went. It went there. Yes. Got so many gems. See that money bags win now. Although I am completely lost on where I'm supposed to be going. Ah, no bee, no. No, not the bees. Oh, you bee. <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Am I dumb? Comment below. Because the answer is yes. Oh, no. They want me to platform badly now. No, <laughs> fucking walk straight, you drunk ass dragon. We haven't even had a beer yet. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> we'll try again. It's, it's no big problem. Oh. <laughs> Let's think of other good Iron Maiden songs. I like the red and the black. I like a lot on the new album. So fucking sue me. The Alchemist. Mother of Mercy. Also got some sick verses and shit in Mother of Mercy. What was it that... See, it's so quite complicated that I'm always just sat there like... You say you are a holy man, but... What well, you see is shows me that you're not but a hollow man I see or something like that. And I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's like you tell me what is you tell me what is certain, but I'll tell you what is true. I'll ask you what is honesty when all around there's death and cruelty. And I'm just like Yes, I love this. This resounds with me and I don't know why. I keep doing it at the wrong time. I keep seeing myself doing it the wrong time. I just keep fucking doing it. Yes. No. Fly, you fools. You fools. I don't know why I said it like that. Fly, you fools. Now I sound racist. Great. Awesome. Now I'll be cancelled when I'm famous in the future. Or just cancelled. By Karen's. And I, oh, he said this thing and I was offended and I don't understand that I don't talk to this race myself because I'm fucking racist. Whereas I have Indian friends. 
do you just love some people? A lot of people in the UK like this. I'm not a racist, and they never speak to any non-white people. <laughs> You're like, maybe you can. But now you've ruined the playthrough, you farmer. Shall we try the return home? Or shall we check a mini game whilst we're free? Oh. <laughs> Some say you are a lost cause. Some say you are a saint. Down, down, just see you now. Who's suffering and restraint? Something, something. <laughs> Mother of mercy. Angel of death's desire. Taking my last breath of fire. Ow. <laughs> no. Mother of mercy. Angel of pain. Etc. Etc. Uh. I don't mind coming home. I think that's actually a lot to do with the fact that I don't care about going home. <laughs> The song. I'm always like, that's a really great song. It's just a shame that I do not care about my home or my home country. And yes, I am British. Yes, yeah, it might explain a lot about why I like Motorhead and Iron Maiden and all of these very British metal bands. But like, um, yeah, like honestly, if you're going to sit down and say to me, Oh yeah, do you, like, a lot of people have asked me over here, do you miss your home country? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and they're like, why not? And I'm like, because it's fucking boring and expensive. There are things I do miss. Of course there's always things you miss. Like your mates, your favorite pub. There's a metal pub in Bristol called The Cauldron. It's fucking sick. You should all go there. Um... Oh yeah, he damn bad enough about a joke. Hilarious fucking accent. Hehehehe. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. I'm having so much fun. Oh, 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 I fucking hate this one so much. I just remembered. Oh, yeah, get it. Oh. <sighs> I just want to murder you all. Oh, 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 this used to be way harder. Maybe there's a harder one. Oh, oh no. I nearly died though, so. Ah, I'm dead. Oh, because they regenerate. That's why it's hard. Nah, I'm not doing that. Oh, well, this is already 43 minutes, and I want a beer, and it's 11 o'clock, so... Oh, you're, you're a darn bug. Yeah, that was actually the best one I had. Uh, you darn bug, a beer, 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 beer. I will now start seeing Cadillac Free songs. <laughs> nah, I like Cadillac Free. It makes, you know, Cadillac Free makes you, like, patriotic for a country you don't care about and have never been to, and makes you think, man, I should drink more beer <laughs> and have a pickup. <laughs> like, it just makes you feel that way. It's like, not even, like, a condemnation of the, uh... Yeah, let's just get this over with. And then I'll get my beer, because I'll have to cut. Hello for you, good man. It's funny because we're mass slaughtering a species. Mmm. The slaughter. He will remember. And so. Well, I, when I die, <laughs> let the raven fly. <laughs> Let's wait for it. And. Aww. Are you 
you kidding me? But if I go out there, will I get caught in the... In the world, though? Is that a loro? Aurora... Uh, uh, I'm just letting you try. What do you want? And if I leave, and if I leave, and if I go into this like whirlwind, because last time it was a whirlwind of, no! <laughs> Ooh, is there something down here? Oh, snow, there's snow. Ooh. Mm, follow the green water. Well, we're going to find a bonus orb. Come with me and we'll see a whole load of freezy, freezy water. So see where it is. There you are. You thought you could hide from me, but you were wrong. Oh, speed wave. Ooh, all orbs in this world. Nice. So we've got a speedway. This is actually way shorter than... You can tell that they just couldn't be bothered to make a spring world. They had summer, autumn, winter, and they were like... And this is a bonus world I'm totally spacing on. Because autumn has two speedways and, like, a butt-ton of worlds. Look. Look. Look at this shit. And then you got... Look, look. And then this one's just what, like these? And a speedway we haven't done? I mean, I'm probably missing something. We did Cloud Temple, right? I refuse to progress until we've shown all of the levels. I say as I'm completely ignoring Retro Speedway at the moment, but you know, like, we can't be perfect. That's, a, that's this world's speedway there. You know, it just feels like, what the hell? What is this level balancing in this game? <laughs> is it nothing? Because it feels like it's nothing. That's Cloud Temple. Are you, like, am I, am I wrong? I mean, you know, not for me to break character or anything, because, you know, I'm always wrong. But, like, it's Robot Farm. There's Flubbity Flub Flubs over here, Metropolis. Uh, seriously. Okay, see you when I got my beer. 